Welcome to the class of microwave and engineering. This is lecture number four, and we will continue with the transmission line. In the last lecture, we have studied about the transmission line equation and its solution. Now we will see the. We will start with the reflection coefficient, and we will continue with the reflection coefficient and the trans transmission coefficient. Now let's see what is a reflection coefficient. Reflection coefficient. Let's say if I say If I say this is a transmission line, and this is the input signal or input wave, this is traveling in this direction. So the wave, the current which is reflected by by the load impedance, that is known as the the how much the current or how much the voltage is reflected in comparison to the total input current or total input voltage that defines the reflection coefficient now let's say if i say the load impedance means this load impedance is equal to the line impedance line characteristic impedance the reflected wave will not exist and if transmission line is terminated in an impedance z let's say if the transmission line is terminated in is terminated at an impedance of zl then i can say that this zl must be equal to the line impedance of the characteristic uh, characteristic impedance of the line so that reflected voltage or reflection reflected current will not be there clear so now it is more convenient to solve the transmission line problem from receiving an end since the voltage to current relationship at the load is fixed by the load impedance now see to calculate the reflection coefficient it is easy to calculate the reflection coefficient at this from this receiver end now let's say if i say this is a transmission line and this is source impedance or generator impedance that is zc and this is a vg that is a source voltage this one is a transmission line and at the end this is a zl that is a load impedance clear now the input current which is traveling in this direction towards the load from source to towards the that is given by i plus and the let's say the reflected current which is from receiving end to the source end that is known as the i minus or you can say this can be known as the i incident and this can be known as the i reflected clear now see let's say at this point this one has a length at the at this point z equal to 0 and at this point z will be equal to minus l clear now see if i want to calculate the zl if i want to calculate the zl then zl will be what equal to vl divided by il and at vz divided by iz zl will be equal to vz divided by iz now put z equal to 0 at this point when z equal to 0 then you will get c zl equal to v of 0 upon me i of 0 now in the last lecture we have studied that the v of 0 equal to transmission line equation what was the transmission line v of z equal to v plus e ki power me minus gamma z प्लस में v माइनस e की पावर में गामा z एंड i ऑफ z इज इक्वल टू v प्लस e की पावर में माइनस गामा z प्लस में v माइनस e की पावर में 
gamma z divided by z naught and this z naught is the characteristic impedance of the line now just put the value of z here v of 0 upon i of 0 put this value you will get this term will get 1 equal 0 equal 0 and equal 0 you will get v of v plus upon v minus upon v plus upon v minus multiply me z naught clear now see then zl zl upon z naught will become this one now up, on applying the on applying the apply component and dividend rule when we will we will apply the component and dividend rule you will get v o minus will be equal to v o minus upon me v o plus v o minus upon me v plus will be equal to z l minus z naught upon me z l plus me z naught clear now what is this v minus upon v plus this v minus v plus is what is the ratio of reflected voltage divided by incident voltage so reflection coefficient will be equal to v minus upon v plus is will be equal to this one is what reflection coefficient so reflection coefficient will be z l minus z naught upon me z l plus z naught and reflected voltage or current upon me incident voltage or current clear so this one is the formula for the reflection coefficient which is equal to z l minus z naught upon me z l plus z naught now see voltage and current on a lossless transmission line equation can be expressed as what if I say this is a lossless transmission line equation, lossless transmission line equation means when alpha equal to 0 and beta will exist. When I say beta will exist, it means e q power minus gamma z will become equal to e q power minus j beta z. So, therefore, V of z transmission line voltage transmission line equation will be V of, v of z equal to V plus upon bracket start e ki power me v of z equal to v plus e ki power me minus j beta z plus me v minus me e ki power me j beta z as we know that v minus upon v plus is equal to reflection coefficient so v minus will be equal to what reflection coefficient multiply me v plus so just put the value of reflection coefficient v minus equal to reflection in, into me v plus v plus will come on that will this will become this equation in terms of the reflection coefficient similarly i of z will become equal to this one now it can be observed from this equation that the voltage and current on this line is a superposition of incident reflected wave which give rise to the standing wave the voltage and current on the line that is v of z and i of z is what is the superposition of reflected uh, incident voltage and the reflected voltage which give rise to the standing wave equation clear now the what is reflected waves if, nay, now we will see the reflected waves if I say there is no reflected waves if I say there is no reflected wave then what will be the what will be the reflection coefficient reflection coefficient will be equal to 0 when I say if there is no reflected wave it means V minus equal to 0. The reflected wave will vanish for reflection coefficient equal to 0 in in some books it is also given by reflection coefficient can also be written as reflection coefficient with the subscript L because I am finding it at the load side clear now to achieve the reflection coefficient to 0 
because as we know that the reflection coefficient equal to zl minus z not upon me zl plus me z not now to achieve the reflection coefficient equal to 0 we will we should have zl equal to z not so zl equal to z not is the condition to get the no reflected voltage clear now see and this condition is known as the match load condition this condition is known as the match load condition or i can say this is a perfect matching now if load impedance and characteristic impedance are of complex quantity then the reflection coefficient is written as its real part or magnitude e multiply me equal j theta l reflection coefficient remember reflection coefficient cannot never be greater than the 1 it lies between 0 to 1 the range of reflection total will be from 0 to 1 maximum reflection will be 100 percent and minimum reflection will be 0 percent you can say now if i say for the terminated lossless transmission line what will be the average power flow along the line at z average power flow if i say this one is the transmission line average power flow at z equal to anything let's say if i say this is z equal to minus l and if i say this is z equal to zero at any point i want to calculate the average power flow at z means the power average power will be equal to what 1 by 2 of real part of vz into me iz put the value of vz and iz that is equal to this one and iz equal to this one on multiplying this and taking the real part on multiplying this and taking the real part only real part will be what this is real part and this one is the real part so average power flow so the average power flow is the how much power is flowing into the load side so average power flow will be equal to 1 by 2 v plus upon me z naught square 1 minus me reflection coefficient ka whole square and what does this reflection coefficient ka whole square represent this is represent the reflection coefficient And what does this represent? This represents the how much percent of power is reflected back. That is reflected power. Clear? Now, see return loss. Return loss is the power loss due to the mismatching at the load side. That is rl that is return loss will be equal to what return loss will be equal to what 1 by reflection coefficient that is equal to minus 20 log 10 of reflection coefficient clear now for the match condition reflection coefficient equal to 0 on putting this value 0 you will get return loss should be infinite db means there is no reflected power and for reflection coefficient equal to 1 return loss equal to should be equal to 0 means all the incident power is reflected back just put the value of reflection coefficient here 1 log of 1 that is equal to 0 you will get return loss equal to 0 tb clear now for a mismatch load if i say for any mismatch load v of z equal to v plus uh, this i have already told you Clear. Now see on taking the real part on on taking the uh, mag magnitude v, v of z magnitude will be equal to v plus bracket start one plus main reflection coefficient e equal to j two beta z. Now put this value of z equal to minus l z equal to minus l you will get this equation clear
Now, what is standing wave ratio? Standing wave ratio is the measure of the max mass of the line and that can be defined as the VSWR equal to V max upon me V minimum that is equal to 1 plus me reflection coefficient upon me 1 minus reflection coefficient. In the, in the next lecture, we will also discuss VSWR in the detail. Clear? Now, for the time being, you just see that the VSWR equal to maximum voltage upon me mean amplitude to the minimum voltage that is equal to 1 plus me reflection coefficient upon me 1 minus me reflection coefficient and it ranges from 1 to infinity clear in the next lecture we will discuss what is exactly how v max is there what is me minimum in the next lecture we will discuss now see at a distance L equal to minus Z from the load, the input impedance towards the load can be calculated. Now, here we will calculate the, the next topic is you can say that it is input impedance. Now, as this one is a transmission line and this one is This is ZG, this is VG. This one is transmission line. Here Z equal to minus L, and this one is the load side where we have put it the ZL. And this here, I say that this is z equal to 0. Clear? Now, see, if I say, if I want to calculate the input impedance, means at this point, I want to calculate the, at this point, the input impedance, that is, when z equal to minus L from the load side. Then I can say input impedance equal to V of Z upon I of Z and Z equal to will be minus L that is V of L minus L upon me I of minus L. What is the value of V of minus L? Z equal to minus L you will get V plus bracket start E equal J beta L plus me refraction E equal minus J beta L. Remember, this is lossless transmission line. When I have say this no, this no lossless, you will see that it is gamma. Clear? Now, V plus equal to I of minus will be equal to V plus equal minus J equal J beta L minus me friction coefficient equal minus J beta L multiply me Z dot. Clear? Now, see, as we know that reflection coefficient is equal to ZL upon me Z naught upon me Z ZL plus Z naught. Put this value, reflection coefficient ZL minus Z naught upon ZL plus Z naught, you will get and take the LCM that you will get this equation that is input impedance equal to ZL plus Z naught equal J beta L plus me ZL minus Z naught equal minus J beta L. Put this value and taking the ZL common and Z naught common, you will get this equation. Now, as we know that sin theta is equal to what? E ki power me j theta minus e ki minus j theta divided by 2j and sin cos theta cos theta will be equal to what? E ki power me j theta plus me e ki power me minus j theta divided by 2. Now, multiply to at the numerator and the denominator, you will get ZL cos beta L plus me J into me Z naught sin beta L. Now, 
take the cos beta l at the denominator you will get z i input impedance that is equal to z l plus j into my z naught tan beta l upon my z naught plus my j into my z l tan beta l multiply my z naught. This equation is also known as the transmission line impedance equation. We have told you that this way to calculate the input impedance and this also this is all this is also known as the transmission line impedance equation. Now next topic is the transmission coefficient. The transmission coefficient is telling us that how much power is going towards the load means the if i if i say incident power if i say incident power minus my reflected power that defines the power transmitted to the load so if i take the square of the transmission equation that defines the how much power is transmitted to the load clear now see a transmission line is terminated in a in its correctest imp impedance that is z naught which is known as the properly terminated line because i have already told you if z l equal to z naught if z l equal to z naught it means the transmission line is terminated in a characteristic impedance that is known as the properly terminated line because at this point there is reflection coefficient will be equal to zero means there is no reflected wave so there is a reflection coefficient at any point along an improper term terminated line because I have already told you that when ZL is not equal to Z0, reflection coefficient will be will also be not equal to 0 and that is known as the improper terminated line. Now see if I say this is a transmission line and this one is source and this one is receiver. How much power is getting to the receiver and how much power? How much power will be getting to the receiver will be what? Incident power minus my reflected power that is equal to the power transmitted to the load or you can say receiver means that is a load. So according to the principle of conservation rate, incident power minus my reflected power equal to the power transmitted to the load. So 1 minus reflected power square will be equal to Z0 upon my ZL into my transmission coefficient ka whole square. And what is transmission coefficient? Transmission coefficient is the ratio of transmitted voltage upon me incident voltage means how much power is transmitted to the load or how much how much voltage is transmitted to the load clear divided by the incident voltage or you can say how much current is transmitted to the load side divided by the incident current that is VTR upon me V incident or I can say ITR upon me I incident means there will be no reflection this will be no minus because both current direction will be in the same side. This is direction of II and this is the direction of ITR. Clear? So 1 minus my fraction coefficient ka whole square equal to Z0 minus Z0 ZL into my T square. As we know that the reflection coefficient equal to ZL minus Z0 upon my ZL plus Z0. Let the traveling wave with the receiving end will be equal to this one because if I say how much we, what what is the equation of this wave at the receiver end will be equal to what VTR in, in multiplying EQ minus gamma L this was what incident wave this shows the reflected wave and this shows the how much this shows the wave incident at the load or reaches to the load side and what does this represent this represents the current equation incident current this represents the what the reflected current and this represents the current reaches at the receiver side clear now see 
this is a source power or instant power this is the power reaches to the load that is given by pti and this one is the power reflected back from the receiver to the source side now see transmission coefficient will be equal to vti upon v incident clear on putting the value of reflection coefficient that is zl upon by z not upon by zl plus z not here you will get what t equal to vti upon v incident is equal to twice of zl upon by zl plus by z not this is the transmission equation transmitted voltage upon me incident voltage the transmitted voltage is the voltage reaches to the load side upon me incident voltage that is equal to 2 into me zl upon me zl plus me z naught now how much power carried to the load at the transmitted now we will calculate the how much power is reaches to the load side or how much power carried to the load by the transmitted wave that will be equal to what that will be equal to what power equal to what 1 by 2 into me v square by r as we know that p equal to what v square by r now if i say the how much power reaches to the load that is average power i am taking that is 1 by 2 vtr that is vtr into me equal minus l file ka whole square upon me zl so t square means transmitted power that is equal to this one will be equal to what zl upon my z naught 1 minus my reflected power ka whole square that is this one this shows that incident power minus my reflected power that defines the transmitted power reaches to the load side Now in the next lecture, we will discuss about the voltage standing wave ratio and some numericals. The book I have referred for preparing the slides that is SM Lyo by the SM, uh, author is SM Lyo and the book title name is Microwave Devices and Circuits 3rd edition PHI 2004. Thank you.